There are always so many sweets and treats around the holidays. Today's recipe is naturally sweetened and made with only a few simple ingredients. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we celebrate healthy living through nutritious, and delicious homemade recipes. Today, we're going to be making chocolate-covered tahini bites. Let's begin by taking eight large pitted medjool dates and placing into a food processor. Dates are packed with fiber, minerals, and vitamins, and will be our healthy sweetener for this recipe. Next, add in one half of a cup of tahini, which is made out of ground up sesame seeds. You can get raw tahini or roasted tahini that may support healthy glowing skin. Another ingredient to add to support healthy skin is one to two scoops of our clean sourced collagens powder. Last, I have one eighth a teaspoon of pink Himalayan or sea salt and a few optional spices one quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one sixth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Pulse first to help the ingredients come together, and then let your processor run until fully incorporated, scraping down the sides as needed. You want your mixture to stick together when pressed between your fingers. If you find that your mixture is too thick, add in some filtered water one tablespoon at a time. And if your mixture is too thin, add in one tablespoon of your favorite gluten-free flour at a time. You can also place the mixture into the freezer for about 10 minutes to help firm it up. Make your bites as small or as large as you like. I am taking about one teaspoon worth and shaping them into balls. Place each ball onto a parchment lined baking sheet and then stick the pan into the freezer while we make the chocolate coating. In a double boiler or a bowl placed over a pot of two to three inches of water, bring the water to a boil. Then add in one half of a cup of dark chocolate chips. I'm using stevia sweetened to reduce the amount of sugar and one tablespoon of coconut oil. This will thin out the chocolate and also add a nice shine to our tahini bites. Stir until the chips are just melted. Remove the chocolate from the heat and then roll each hardened tahini ball into the melted chocolate, covering them completely. I like to use a fork to do this. Place them back onto the parchment lined sheet and then repeat this process for each bite. Place into the freezer to completely set anywhere from 30 minutes to up to an hour. Okay, we are ready to give these bites a taste. You will want to store them either in the refrigerator or the freezer. And just so you know, mine are probably a little bit soft because of these lights that I use to film. So let's give a taste here. Yeah, a little melty. These bites are so fun. I think they're perfectly sweetened. The tahini definitely comes through and I really like it. So if you don't like the flavor of tahini, you certainly could use peanut butter or almond butter or sunflower seed butter. All of those will work great. These are so delicious, so fun, and really nutritious. I hope you give these ones a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you're getting lots of quality time with those you love, and we're so grateful to have you as part of the Organics family. Much love to you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.